Hello everyone, this is Sam here with Thermo Cosplay, and this video is very special because I have partnered with CosplaySupplies.com to bring you a tutorial on CobraCast. CobraCast is a thermoplastic. Thermoplastics are products where you can apply heat and they become malleable. So you can mold them and transform them into something completely different. CobraCast, like Warbler's Finest Art, is self-adhering, so once you heat it up, it actually becomes tacky and you can stick surfaces to it or stick it together to make it stronger. So today I'm going to talk to you about the different uses of CobraCast and how it varies from Warbler's Finest Art. And I have returned with these magnificent ears. These ears are partially made of CobraCast along with a hardened skull cap on the inside of the wig. Cobra cast can be used to reinforce items or make items, as you can see here. Um, it's very thin, so you will need to put two layers together if you're planning on using it for armor. It has a really nice webbed detail on it, which means Mass Effect people, you could probably use this instead of your, you know, EVA floor mats. This actually has a really nice textured side and then a smooth side. And the texture isn't incredibly obvious. As you can see here, far away, it's not very apparent. But as you get closer, you kind of see the webbing, which is great for this character who is Leafeon. And I'm a plant Pokemon, so I mean, having veins and webs and stuff looks really cool. Makes it look like it's more of a plant. So what I'm going to do for this tutorial is show you how to heat up Cobra Cast and create a anchor for an axe that I have. I am going to be Kratos coming up here soon and I need a way to carry my axe around that is not my hand. Let's get started. Okay, so the difference between Warbla and Cobra Casts is minimal but important. Cobra Cast is a lot more flimsy so if you leave it rolled up for long periods of time it will stay in that form until you heat it up whereas with Warbla once you unroll it it has a slight curve to it and it's also a bit more rigid it's a bit more thick and there's a shiny side and a matte side now in order to create a holder harness rather for this axe that I have here I need something that's kind of horseshoe shaped that goes underneath the axe and keeps it secure on my back. So when I'm walking around the convention, it doesn't fall off. Often with thermoplastics, you use a foam. This is actually just craft foam, so it's fairly thin. I think it's two millimeters thick. And this foam is useful for creating a base that you can sandwich your two pieces of thermoplastic onto. This is going to make a lot of noise, so I'm going to mute the video for a little bit because it sounds like a crazy hair dryer, which is exactly what it is. But don't touch your skin to it while it's hot. It will pull your skin off. It gets very, very hot depending on the type of heat gun that you have, literally hundreds of degrees. So be very, very careful. Well, added heat to this bit and it started to stick together and as you can see there are a lot of little pieces stuck together and there's some that isn't completely formed so what I'm going to do is cut some of this excess off that's frustrating me and making my little piece move more than I want it to and start just laying it on top here and this is the beauty of thermoplastics you can just lay pieces together and sandwich them together and you have a brand new sheet in no time. I mean, I guess it's not no time. It does take a little bit of time to do this, but I'm going to start sandwiching stuff together so I can get this done. When 
working with Cobra Cast or any sort of Warbla thermoplastic, you need to have something like parchment plate paper on the floor. Um, I just made the mistake of pressing it while it was still warm on the floor and of course ended up with a problem of it trying to stick permanently to the floor. Woohoo! But thankfully I have the exact sheet that I need and it's pretty flat in this area and it has a lot of stretch. So with normal warbler, if I pulled it hard like this, you'd start getting little micro tears. With um, Cobra Cast, it's stretching really far. Finest Art does not stretch this far. And that's amazing. I think that's because there's like a mesh material in here. So let me get in close for you. All right, so here is the Cobra Cast and you can see I can stretch this really far and it doesn't tear. This is actually really useful for putting pieces together. Typically when you put other pieces together, you kind of have to do use like a, a dough roller or something to smooth it out. Stretching this out has actually made it very even, which is beautiful for me. Um, as a word of warning, if you're unfamiliar with thermoplastics, they go, get very, very hot. If your hands cannot tolerate heat, Wear a pair of mechanics gloves. They have neoprene on the underside of the hands and it makes it easier to work with. Okay, I have set my Cobra cast pieces to the side that I need and I'm taking my piece of craft foam here and I am going to trace the shape of the horseshoe that I need from my axe onto this piece of foam. So I'm just gonna measure here so it needs to be this wide, and it kind of needs to come up about this far. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna draw this out and we'll get right back to you. I have cut out the horseshoe pattern. It is not symmetrical, which is the point. Kratos' little securement on his back is beaten still, so it needs to look a bit more battered and uneven, and it actually fits around my axe. So this is actually perfect. All right, I need to cut out one more of these because this foam is pretty thin and I need something that's more four millimeter foam. So I will get right back to you and show you how to use the Cobra Cast with this. I have foam, one piece of Cobra Cast, two pieces of Co Cobra Cast, and I am going to start heating this stuff up, show you how to sandwich it. I now have this all set up, so let's go ahead and start cutting it out. Here is my horseshoe. It's a little wobbly, a little uneven, so what I need to do is heat it up and start smoothing out the edges with my hands. Again, this gets very warm. If you cannot handle the heat, please wear mechanics, glo mechanics gloves. <laughs> Sorry. They're very inexpensive, about five bucks I'd say, and they are incredibly useful when working with thermoplastics like Cobra Cast is.
I've let my Cobra cast cool. It cooled in about a minute, maybe two tops. That is much faster than Warbla's finest art, black art, or any other Warbla's art I've used. Um, Cobra cast is incredibly cool time, uh, fast cool time, and it has an incredibly fast heat up time too. So uh, I, on a low heat, this heats up really fast, less than a minute. And on a high heat, it's less than 30 seconds. So it becomes malleable very quickly. Um, I like that it remains somewhat flexible, but still rigid. So it has some um, flex, which is good when you're putting a weapon in and out of a holder. It would not necessarily be good for armor because unless you want the mass effect look, it will have a lot of texture to it. Uh, you could coat this in wood glue, uh, two to three coats would smooth it right out and then you'd plasti dip this and have absolutely no problem with this product. I like the pattern because it will create unique texture on my steel created oblong horseshoe securement. So. Thank you all for watching this tutorial, and I hope you enjoy. Just kidding, I'm back. Once again, this Cobra Cast test sheet was sponsored by CosplaySupplies.com. I also did a tutorial with this test sheet on how to create Pokemon ears, and that will be tied to this video as well, so be on the lookout somewhere around here for that. Um, this is Mini Kratos Weapon Holder saying goodnight. Thank you for watching.